back. I hope you're all well. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about four of my favorite designer bags. And not only are they my favorite designer bags, but I am also recommending them to you guys. So these are bags that I think if you already have a designer bag collection, or if you, you, you might have a large one or a small one, doesn't really matter. But if you're just looking to add some new bags to your collection, then I think these would be great and you would really like them. Most of them I had for a very long time and I really enjoy using them. So I wanted to talk about that today. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Angelique and I make new videos twice a week about luxury and fashion. And if that is something you're into, you should definitely hit that subscribe button and join our little family here. Okay, so before we start this video, if you have any of the bags that I'm gonna be talking about today, I need you guys to let me know if you feel the same way. Do you love them as much as I do or do you hate them? Do you have a different opinion? Let me know. Um, so we're gonna start off with the first bag, which is gonna be no surprise to the ones of you who have been with me for a while and who watch my videos uh, quite often. Uh, you are probably going to know that I'm gonna talk about this bag and oh my God, we're stuck. Okay, so here it is. It is my YSL collage bag and I always feel like when I repeat something, like when I talk about the same item in different videos, like I sound like a broken record, but this is the best bag, you guys. I swear, okay, this is going to be a very bold statement, but I swear to you, if I could only keep, for whatever reason, one of my bags, this one would be it without a doubt. Yes, there are others that I would feel like sad about losing, but this one, I could never, ever get rid of it. It is just such a amazing and gorgeous piece. I think it's versatile. So once again, this bag is very androgynous. It's cool. It's different. Uh, I, I feel like different in a, in a way where I don't know of another brand. If you guys do, definitely let me know in the comments down below. But I don't think there's another brand that has a bag that looks similar to this. Um, it comes in so many different amazing colors. And I wanna f when I first purchased this, I actually wanted to get it in like the dark gray. And I saw it on... Um, Claire, is her name Claire Chanel? Claire Chiquette? I am Chiquette? Something like that. Um, but I saw it on her channel first and I was like, oh my god, I need this bag. It is so pretty. But she had the dark gray one. But then when I went into the store, long story short, I ended up with the black one. Uh, and I'm really happy that I did. I use this so much and I really love to use this for travel. And I know that sounds a bit crazy, but I usually bring a carry-on and a purse. Um, but this is great because it fits my headphones. It fits all of the items that I like to carry on a day-to-day -day basis. Again, if you know me, you know that I don't carry a lot with me. So this bag is the perfect size for me. I love the leather. It's very soft. You don't have to be too careful with it. Um, and as you can see, so there's nothing wrong with it. Like it's not broken or damaged. It just kind of slouches. So that's the way it sits. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you don't like soft bags, you might not like this. It's not very structured at all. But that's one thing that I like about it. It's very comfortable to wear. Uh, and then the inside, let me just show you guys really quickly. It has, oh, we have a lot of stuff in here. Let's just, let's throw that on the ground really quickly. Okay, so um, the inside of this bag is very, very spacious. We have a front compartment, middle compartment, and then another compartment in the back. And then you have an extra extra pocket like this little guy right here which is actually like it has the the tag on it but it's also a little pocket and then we have a pocket in the back which again is why I love to use this for travel because I can just put my passport in here or anything that I want to like access easily when I'm going through security or anything like that of course I also use it when I don't travel um, I use it on a day-to-day -day basis I think it goes with so many outfits and I love that you can wear it with this handle right here and I'm also gonna insert some pictures now of like different people wearing this bag in different colors because you can just style this like there's endless possibilities on styling this bag uh, rather you want to wear it like cool and laid back or if you want to wear wear it like really chic and sophisticated there's just so many options and that's another thing that I really love about this and that's why I think it is the only bag that I would keep because you, you you don't need another bag if you have this one like you can wear it in the evening I know that might sound crazy because it's bigger But if you take the strap off and just kind of wear it right here or You could even hold it under your arm like this. I swear you guys such a great bag, but yeah <laughs> Enough about this bag, but I really love it And I think I think that if you've had your eye on this for a while um, Definitely go for it because I think you won't regret it. It's a great great bag price point 
you know, it's in a, is a designer bag, so it's expensive. Uh, but I don't think it's too crazy, like, compared to Chanel or anything. <laughs> I'm out of breath now. Definitely got a little too carried away and a little too excited with that bag. So bag number two, oh, you could, you could already see it, is the Pochette Matisse. And I feel like I need to stop talking about this guy because I just recently picked it up, as most of you know, and I've been doing videos on this guy. But, uh... It's a great bag. I cannot believe that I waited as long as I did. I wish I would have purchased it much, much sooner. It is, again, an amazing piece. It's very versatile. I actually just took this on vacation with me, and it was one of the only bags that I used along with my... Um, Louis Vuitton backpack, but it's just so versatile. Like I said, it goes with so many different outfits. <clears throat> Again, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. It's a very beautiful piece, and I thought it would bother me that it's so popular and that so many people have this guy, but it really doesn't now that I have it. It's just it's just a cool bag, you guys. Very cool bag. So if you've been on the fence with this um, and you've been thinking about it, I definitely say go for it. I don't think you will regret it. Uh, and I've talked about this <laughs> before too, but it's very roomy on the inside. Again, we have three compartments, so it's great for travel. I did actually travel with this and left my YSL Collège bag behind, which that's the first time I've done that in a long time, and I was really happy with it. Again, it fits a lot. Just like the other bag, we do have a back compartment. So again, if you wanted to, oh my God, I'm saying the word again way too much. So if you wanted to store like your passport ID, whatever in the back, that's uh, really handy as well. You can take the strap off, which I love. We got the top handle again, so you could carry it by the top handle, but it's a great bag. It's structured. And another thing that's really nice about this is obviously um, you don't have to worry about damaging the outside. You know, it can get wet. You don't have to worry about that you don't have to worry about scratching it because it's obviously very sturdy so I really like that and I don't have to be too afraid of like throwing it around I'm someone that doesn't really like to baby my bags and yeah so yeah this one I do find a bit pricey and I'm telling you I bought this pre-loved because they didn't have it in store and I waited for it for such a long time and I think I you know I thought I got a good deal but I think I actually paid more than retail because, you know, I'm just, I'm crazy. That's how I am. But anyways, uh, it's, it's a really, really pretty bag. And it also comes in so many different colors. I went for this one just because I like the print. And I like the way it looks. I, and I have so many black bags. I think if I didn't have so many black bags already, I would have definitely gone with the black. But yeah, you can adjust the strap, which is another great thing. I love that option because I'm kind of tall. Well, I don't know if I'm tall. I kind of feel like I'm tall, but maybe I'm not. But I do wear a lot of heels. So... Sometimes I don't like the way like crossbody sit on me and I love a good crossbody So I really enjoy the fact that you can adjust this or take the strap off whatever you want to do It's just it's a great bag you guys trust me if you've been on the fence Just go ahead and get it because I really don't think you will regret it Okay, I really feel like I'm out of breath because I'm talking way too fast bag number two Three, number three, three, tasche number three. Okay, number three is this gorgeous, gorgeous YSL sunset bag. And okay, let's just be really honest with you guys and let's get the first couple cons, cons, right? Yeah, <laughs> out of the way because so many of you ask me this every time I show this bag. Is it heavy? Yes, it is absolutely a heavy bag. Why do I still recommend it? Because it's the prettiest bag you will ever own, and I do not think that it's heavy to the point where it's uncomfortable. But yes, it is a very heavy bag without anything in it. So as you can see, the strap is chain, and then it just has a small, thin leather piece at the top. Now, I do have to be honest with you guys. I don't like, when I do pictures on Instagram, I mostly probably wear it on my shoulder, but when I actually carry it, like when I'm using it on a day-to-day -day basis, I usually just carry it like this. So maybe that's why it doesn't bother me. I don't think I've ever, I don't know, I could be wrong, I don't really remember, but I don't think I've ever, like, carried it on my shoulder and it was uncomfortable, um, but I also don't think that I've carried it, like, for a very long time on my shoulder. So if you're cool with just holding your bag like this, I think you will really love this. And if you you're not like planning on hiking with this and wearing it on your shoulder, I think you will also be fine. And if you don't carry a lot of stuff like me, you'll be totally fine. But it's just such a pretty bag. It's probably, I don't know if I've said this about any of my other bags, but honey, you are probably the prettiest bag that I own. She is just absolutely gorgeous. The color is everything. I'm so glad I went for this color because I have so many dark like 
yeah, just like black and dark brown colors and I really needed something lighter and I went for a like light pink Dior bag that I immediately sold. That's just not me, not my color. So then when I saw this, um, I thought I would try it out because I just thought it looked beautiful and I'm really happy with it because it goes with so much stuff and this looks really pretty and like spring and summer with white. It's just, ugh, I don't know, like, I mean, just look at it. It's so pretty with white. But then again, you can wear it with absolutely everything because it's a very neutral color. Um, if you open this guy, it has a lot of, oh, there are my sunglasses. I've been looking for my Porsche design sunglasses for a very long time now. We finally found them. Thank God I did this video. Um, so... Again, you have two split pockets, and then you have a little pocket in the front, which I never use this. I don't think I've ever, I ever have. And then you have an extra little pocket here in the back. Um, so you can fit quite a lot of stuff in this. It is a very structured bag, so it's very hard. There's not much like room if you want to fit something in it that doesn't fit. Uh, and also, you guys, this is a pattern. I really like bags that have a little back pocket because it's just so easy to slip stuff into. But yeah, again, we have a little back pocket. Now this doesn't really stretch out very far, so you could really only fit maybe like a card holder or a couple cards, maybe some money. Um, but it's a good bag. And why I recommend this to you guys, even though it's heavy, it's because I think it's a great a great evening bag. Um, I think it looks very gorgeous with like a dress or anything like that. Um, I'm not a clutch kind of person. I, I tried it with clutches, but it's just, I don't know, it's just not me. Again, you could kind of carry this bag like that if you wanted to with like a dress or something. And a lot of you are probably going to crucify me because we have silver hardware and it's a bigger bag, but I really enjoy wearing bigger bags for the evening. I'm not someone that has to have like a tiny little bag. Like even if I wear it like a, a big old ball gown and some heels, I would probably still go with a bag like this if it matches. It's just what I like. Um, but yeah, I think it's beautiful again and it holds a lot of stuff. It's great for the evening, but then again, you could also wear it during the day. It again, is very kind of cool and laid back. I love bags that kind of give you a classy and chic vibe, but also that like cool and laid back vibe. And I don't want to talk too much about this guy. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, if you're okay with it being a little bit heavier, then I think you would really love this. Okay, let's talk about my first true love, this next bag that I'm going to be talking about. It was quite hard to only pick four, but I picked this next one because Okay, it's a trendier bag, but I do think it's a classic. If you don't think so, let me know. I'm sure there's a lot of people that disagree with me, uh, but I really think it's a classic piece, even though it was very trendy. But I bought this bag in New York, and I hunted down every store in every Gucci store, little hint, in New York City to get my hands on this guy. Like, I was desperate for it to the point where I almost cried. I know I'm crazy, um, but I finally found it, and it is my mini, I think it's the mini, I can never get this right, mini or small, I think it's the mini um, Gucci Dionysus, and, or Dionysus, however you want to pronounce it, but I don't know, I just love this bag. It is so freaking gorgeous and it is a great a great day-to-day -day running errands bag i love 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 the chain so this is one of the only bags i have that's like solely chain where the strap is solely made out of chain now again this has a couple of cons it does get very very cold in the winter if you leave it in your car which i often do and i know you probably shouldn't do that and it also gets very hot in the summer but nonetheless, I love that you have options with this. You can double it up and wear it as a shoulder bag, or you can make it long and wear it as a crossbody bag, which is my favorite way to wear it. It has like the perfect size on the inside. Oh God, more lipsticks. Um, so it just has one big compartment, but it is the perfect size because it's pretty tall. It's not very wide, but it's pretty tall, so you can fit a lot of stuff. Uh, I usually have my phone in here, my sunglasses. As you can see, some lipsticks, lip liners, little things like that, and it's just a perfect bag. I think it dresses up any and every outfit. Like, I love wearing this with maybe just like a pair of white sneakers and like a cool pair of jeans and just like a shirt, very like, I wanna say like 90s, um, and just popping this bag on. I just, oh, sorry, my dog's barking now. Um, but yeah, it just goes with so incredibly much, and it's such a great bag. And a lot of you are probably like Angelique, like I just said, you know, it's, it's a, hey, I'm filming, do you guys mind? Um, a lot of you probably think that 
this is a very trendy piece and yes very popular it was very trendy at one point but I think it's kind of died down but I do think that this is a very classic piece that you can keep forever and I don't think this is ever gonna go out of style, okay? I, I don't know, that's that's just me and my opinion. Uh, but yeah, really love this and would highly recommend this guy to you. Um, I'm gonna leave my last video right here, so make sure to check that out. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.